All right, so John made his way out here to Gainesville, Texas and competed today. And I wanted to ask him what he did different to set up his engine, his prop, his airplane to run this competition. And John also, after that, what did you think of your first competition here at Gainesville, Texas? We've had a lot of fun and I really came for the fun. It wasn't so much to compete, which of course you always want to do as good as you can. Um, changes. I changed the prop bench, got it, got it flattened out a little bit to where I get close to 3,000 RPM, um, get my maximum horsepower and get it up there quicker. It's been whirlwind ground adjustable three blade prop. It doesn't take that long to go ahead and just do that. I'll so so at, this, at this setting you're pushing closer to red line then? Yeah, the red line on the UL power is 3,300, 3, so I'm, I'm pushing it to about 3,000 right there just as I lift off the ground. So it's, it's close to the maximum power. Not really a whole lot of changes other than that. I've got rid of a little bit of fuel to try to keep everything light. Of course, I unloaded everything. I let some air pressure out of the tires to get it to compensate for removing the weight just to get a little bit of squat on it, make it squishy where I can land a little, a little easier, lighter. And you got some different tires since last I spoke to you. I do. I, I added the 22 inch tires to the back a while back and kept the stock front tire and of course that got it nose down and the prop was getting a little little closer than I like. I saw a six inch clearance so that was around home in some of these rough strips so it was getting kind of close there a few times. I changed the front tire to the 21 inch and that gets it back real close to its original factory stance so it seems to work really well with that and doesn't create a huge amount of drag. So this is your first true competition. What do you think? What do you think about it? First first paid competition. I've been to the AOPA uh, demos, that kind of stuff, stole demos, uh, the land. It's, it's a fun, we've had a fun time out here. It's, it's fun all around. Uh, see the guys in different groups, in different stages, you know, lots and lots of airplanes. They're all like-minded people and having a blast. The weather's the weather hasn't cooperated as much as it should, but I think I think the stole the whole stole industry is getting a pretty good grip and a, a pretty good bite on this. It's going to expand. I feel like it's the way to go. So, so you say you do it again? Absolutely, do it again. I hope to be back. Hope they have it here, and I hope it continues to spread. And we'll see it all across the U.S. here soon. And as it does, I'll I'll try to beat all the ones I can get to. Yeah, it's fun. Awesome. Well, good to see you out here, John. Enjoyed it. See y'all next time. John has just been informed that he will be one of the stole pilots participating at the EAA Oshkosh 2020 Twilight Fest in the evening. So see John this year at the EAA Air Venture in Oshkosh. If you are finding value in this video, hit the like button and remember to subscribe as it's really important for me to get sponsors like Airworks, Aero Adventure, Wingbug, Grip Lock Ties, and new this month, Edge Performance. And right now, Grip Lock Ties has a special offer for USA customers. Go to their website and at checkout, get free shipping. Enter the code EXPERIMENTAL. Let's jump back in. If you'd like to learn more about John and his Super 701, check out these two episodes where we interview John at his farm in Tennessee. I'll see you in the next episode.